guys, today I'm going to be showing you some pretty cool tricks I've come across to do with your Nerf guns. Uh, today, I'm, um, today I'm not going to be using uh, uh, any snipers or uh, long range uh, guns except for the Mega Cyclone shotgun. I'm going to be using the handguns. The biggest one I'm going to be using today is the Mega Cyclone Shock. You can do these on the ground. It's just I have that trampoline over there so I can get extra air for, I don't know, just to make things look cooler, you know. Uh, so the first one, I'm going to be using this gun. I forget the name of it. I'll say the words because I know every single nerf gun I have either than this. Because uh, I got this a really long time ago. So the first one is the Twisty Spinny Then a Shot. So let's go check that out. It's gotten a bit dark because I've been filming these videos heaps and I'm really bummed out about it. But it seems to have started raining and that's really disappointing me because I can't use the trampoline anymore. So Mother Nature is being real lingy to me. So let's get on with the next one. I'm going to be using the Nerf and Strike Elite Strong Arm. I'm going to be using uh, just this in one big video. One big clumped video. Uh, so I'm going to be using the End Strike Elite Strong Arm, and I'm going to be doing something called the Sneak Attack. <laughs> Boo! Hey, did I scare you? Probably not. That wasn't very scary at all. But it's good if there's like a wall or something during a Nerf War. You can sneak up behind it and stick your head up and then shoot them. So, that's actually a useful one for a Nerf War. Okay. This one, called, this one is called the Drop and Shoot. I'm going to be using... The Nerf Zombie Strike Flip Fury. If you don't know what this is, uh, it does slam fire and there's a little trigger down the bottom that will make it flip, flip. This is no review, so go watch a review in another place. Oh, we're good again. Just don't get off this video, but if you want to know more about this gun, um, you should look at a review on it, like from Nerf Boy Productions or something like that. Um, it's actually, I feel well when I have it on my back because it's just like, it's like, you're being robbed. And they're like, not today. So, this is called the drop and shoot. Didn't see what just happened because I think the bullet went out of sight. I shot and kind of hit there underneath. And so, jump off something, you shoot, and then get down. That's good because if you want to be a moving target, which everyone knows, and therefore they're very hard um, to hit. Except for Dude Perfect. They're, I like the best at shooting, except they have a lot of trial and error. Um, so you drop down, it's good because if you're in a Nerf War and you're standing on something, someone's about to shoot you, you jump off it, shoot, and it probably will hit you. It's not the best at accuracy because you're kind of falling and it might go boo. Uh, anyway, that one's pretty good for, also if you slam fire with that, it's pretty good as well. It's just like a rapid fire. So this is the last one of the day, the Mega C Cyclone Shock. I'm going to be getting some new Nerf guns like the Mega Centurion and the Rapid Strike, Retaliator, Rhino Fire, all them. All the big ones. I have a few big ones right now, but not too many. So, this one I'm going to be using the chair again for. This is called the Faker. What do you have to do? Actually, I don't have to use the chair for this one going to set you up on the ground because this one is needed by the ground. 
and need you for that. This is some trick. It's getting a bit dark, so I hope you can see me, kind of. And then, uh, okay, so what you do, if someone gets close to you with a hit, you pretend you've been shot. They'll probably come over to see you. And when they do, you shoot them. Um, it's pretty good if you like trolling people and uh, shooting people as well. Not like with actual guns. Not encouraging anyone to do that. Please don't, kids. Sorry, I just knocked over an electric scooter. Oops. Um, so, um, don't. I'm not encouraging anyone to play with guns, but with Nerf guns or airsoft. Oh, when you're 18, you should play with airsoft. Um, so I will be back in a second because um, I need to go some, somewhere for some reason. I need to get my gun because I left it outside in the rain and it's starting to trickle again because of Mother Nature. It's about to come to an end because it's about to get pitch black outside. So, I really want to show you this last one because it is like the best one I know. It's awesome. I love it. You love it. You'll probably love it. You don't love it. I hate you. No, not really. Um, this one is called Rage. Uh, what you do is go full on. You don't stop at any cost. You use all your bullets. Shoot them with all your guns. I'm not going to shoot any... With all my guns, because I have a lot of guns. Like, same with people with, like, hundreds of Nerf guns. Uh, don't use all of them, because that would take, like, years to um, pick up all your bullets. So, starting to pixelate me. I'm pixelating. Um, so. I'm going to use the gun with the most bullets I have. Uh, 16, 16 bullets, I than 25 bullets, yeah, that's what the others are, I'm talking about handguns, uh, things to shoot, uh, so, I'm only going to be using one, but, uh, normally you'd use, like, all your guns, uh, so I'm going to be using one, what you do is you just, if that's slam fire, definitely use slam fire. I'm going to be using slam fire. Hold down the trigger. Hold down the trigger. And push it back like that. Um, ready? Here we go. Dang it. Jammy, jammy, jammy. Jammered skins. Here we go. That was rage. Uh, now I have to go pick up my bullets, but I just made another Nerf video today, so if you want to see more stuff like that, make sure to like and subscribe. Until then, bye! <laughs>